Much loved comedy legend Eddie Large has died after contracting coronavirus. The 78 year old, who was one half of the successful 1980s comic duo Little and Large, was being treated in hospital for heart failure when he fell in with the deadly COVID 19 bug. His devastated son, Ryan McGuinness, confirmed his father's tragic death in an emotional Facebook post. Heartbreakingly, the father, of, three died alone and without his family around him because of the strict rules in place to prevent the spread of the virus. Ryan said, It is with great sadness that mum and need to announce that my dad, Edward McGuinness, passed away in the early hours of this morning. He had been suffering with heart failure and unfortunately, whilst in hospital, contracted the coronavirus, which his heart was sadly not strong enough to fight. Dad fought bravely for so long. Due to this horrible disease we had been unable to visit him at the hospital but all of the family and close friends spoke to him every day. We will miss him terribly and we are so proud of everything he achieved. In his career with Sid and know that he was much loved by the millions that watched them every week. Rip Dad. We love you and miss you from all the family. Eddie and his comedy partner Sid Little found fame back in 1971 when the duo won the TV talent show Opportunity Knox. For decades they were one of the most popular double acts in the country before going their separate ways. He even released single in 2013, parody of Je T'aime. Moi Non Plus by Serge Gansbourg called G Musky. Moi Non Plus in. His later years, Eddie had suffered from raft of health problems, although had continued to appear on screen with roles in Blackpool and The Brief. His heart problems were what forced him to end his comedy partner, Sid, which he described as the most painful phone call of my life. In 2003, aged 62, Eddie underwent life-saving heart transplant, and went on to back the Mirror's Change the Law for Life campaign, which successfully called for an opt-out organ donor system to save people on the waiting list. He said, was so lucky to get the new heart needed 15 years ago, but not everyone does. But Eddie had one devastating regret about his heart transplant. While he was on the waiting list for new heart, he started writing to 12-year, old girl who was also waiting for an organ donor. The pair struck up an adorable friendship, with Eddie doing all he could to keep the youngster's spirits up. He said, time was running out for her, but was so impressed by her letters, they were so lovely and so mature. They were probably far more mature than mine, just bombarded her with jokes thought 12, year, old might find funny. Wanted to keep her spirits up rather than exchanging stories about how much we were struggling. And Eddie made the little girl firm promise when they both had their new hearts, he would take her out for curry. He said, she was delighted, but she said, I have to warn you, don't like them too spicy. That made me smile. After wrote to her couple of times got the phone call had been waiting for, they had new heart for me. And was rushed into hospital for the transplant. A couple of weeks after my transplant, before I'd even left hospital, got the most awful news. So few children die that there simply aren't enough suitable organs available. That little girl had been waiting too long and her time ran out. The doctors did the best they could. They were so desperate they tried to piggy, back five, year, old's heart onto hers, but it didn't work. I was devastated when heard she had died. I'd already had good innings by the time needed transplant, but her life was just beginning. She was such great little girl. It was so unfair. Eddie became passionate supporter of an opt-out organ donor register and campaign for it to become reality.